Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Yeah, that's right. Two videos in one day. And uh, the particular reason for this video is it's Saturday and closing up early, about to go home. And someone was like, hey, you've got some chainsaws out there on the shred pile. You should go check it out. Well, I haven't been out here. So sure enough, I figured I'd take a little stroll around the shred pile. This is where all the standard uh, recyclable metal goes just your regular household stuff and um, so I walk out here and you guys have seen my other home light chainsaw videos I've got a bad addiction for these early cast um, home light chainsaws I actually have one of these that I use on a regular basis as my uh, standard just keeping the truck chainsaw a smaller one now this one's a super XL uh, automatic and I thought for a second that meant automatic oiler, but it's not. It's got the mechanical oiler pump right here, which isn't froze, which is good. And I think this one's actually going to be a year or two older than the one I still use. But lots of good parts. Anytime I see these, I take them because uh, a lot of this cast metal can break. It's still got the cover on the side. It's got a good looking bar on it. I didn't even pull it. Let's see if it turns. Yep, it turns. Nine times out of 10, if these saws spin, they run. It's also snowing. I don't know if you can see it. And it's really cold today. We've had ridiculous weather. It snowed the other day. Uh, I got a little couple inches out of that and it went right away. Then it was 70 something one day and I was wearing shorts filming a video. And then we had tornadoes. Um, I think that was Thursday. And then we had really bad rains and flooding. I mean, like flooding, like it, it the tornadoes came through and tore up most of, um, not up here uh, at the scrapyard, but um, down where I actually live right now. Uh, it tore up all kinds of stuff through that area. And then, uh, and then we were okay up here and now it's uh flooding and then that was done and now it's snowing today so chattanooga got a couple inches still coming down i don't know what we're gonna get out of it yet i don't hold my breath anymore but this video is to show you some of the old stuff my hands are freezing by the way i have to keep switching out <laughs> this old stuff like this i love this this is a old kitchenaid imperial by Hobart uh, washing machine. And it was winterized, uh, 8, 29 of 18. I don't know what that means. If they, what the purpose of it was. But look, blue on the inside, all the trays are still there. This is a fairly nice unit. It is a dual sprayer. This is a sprayer that rotates and there's a sprayer in the bottom that rotates. This is a nice unit for its age. Push button controls. Probably gotta have this. Yeah, gotta be locked for it to do whatever it's gonna do. But if you notice right here, that is the matching oven range. So I'm assuming this is all KitchenAid because that's the matching, uh, what did I call it? The oven range. And then behind that is the matching uh, washing or di uh, dryer. And it's all in yellow. I am assuming by the looks of it, 60s, maybe 70s. And then over here, you've got the matching washing machine. So you've essentially, you've got a whole set here of that's the top. Okay, so I was looking at it wrong. The top is gone. That's probably it underneath there. But you've got a matching set of a... I can't get that off. You've got a matching set. times if you get out here 
before they get thrown sorry i'm falling in the mud before you get they get thrown off the truck and pushed around you can salvage these um we've got a furniture company right here in town that does trade-ins on any old appliances and most of them they bring down here and recycle which is that's fine you know but a lot of the stuff still works and this is a case where yeah you see it's got some rust on it i'm sure there were some pieces here and there that just didn't work anymore however if uh with a little bit of touch-up paint these would be really cool to have set up if you had like a a uh, full basement in a house with the kitchen area you could do a retro kitchen and refurbish these appliances i mean the parts are still out there for these machines whether you want to believe that or not a lot of this old stuff was serviceable you didn't go throw it away and buy a new one when it broke you ordered a new motor or ordered a new hose or a thermostat you know whatever you had to do to keep it going and that's why that older stuff was so it was honestly better quality stuff it's heavier and it's more solid because the bodies were made to hold up so that you could, you know, in 10 years, you could stick another motor in it, keep on going. And the new stuff is just, it's not the same. And, uh, but I, I've always wanted, if I ever got a house um, big enough, I'd like to have, not necessarily the whole house, but definitely a room or two dedicated to different decades and, and time where you could walk in and it would be set up 60s big tube tv on the floor rabbit ears on it old couch you know everything in good shape but just nostalgic for the the aesthetic purposes of having it um there's a guy on youtube used to do lawnmower stuff i don't know if anybody's familiar with lionel's office he loves loves that kind of stuff and he's actually got his house set up there's a few videos you can actually go watch of um of his bathroom and stuff he did a bathroom and i think a living room set up like they did uh like it was, you know, 40, 50 years ago. I'm gonna try to get over here. I see a toolbox. Close this washer lid without closing my foot in it. Yeah. Get over here. If I fall and uh, break my neck, at least I've got it on camera. Oh, wow, there's stuff in it. I was not prepared for that. There's a floor jack and an old hand saw. So if I can make my way back over here. This toolbox is heavy. <clears throat> I just wanted the toolbox. It's a little dented. It says gears on it. And it's making noises. So, oh, it's still got the top drawer in it. Look at that. Some wire snips. A Benzomatic lifetime guarantee wrench. Flathead chisel almost. Got a ratchet in here, probably a cheap one. Great neck. Taiwan. And a bunch of northern branded sockets. But hey. Three sockets are still good sockets, even if they're cheap. So look, that whole toolbox is going to get chunked. There's no telling what else is in there. But uh, this little toolbox that says Sears is coming home with me. You can sand that down and put some paint on it. Paint them letters in black and polish this up or maybe just get a new latch all together. And that'll be really neat. And then, of course, the home light chainsaw. Because I've got a chainsaw addiction. Also, folks, I received some fan mail for the first time in a while. I thought I was just paying for that P.O. box to get the Harbor Freight coupons there for a little while. Uh, I put the P.O. box in the link in the description below all the videos. Uh, if you want to send some fan mail, it's in there. Uh, but I got two letters the other day, and I'm going to open them up on camera here soon. I uh, might do that tomorrow if I get some time. We're celebrating Dad's birthday today, and it has been one year since his heart surgery. Uh, I should say heart transplant. He had a full heart transplant February of last year. Doing wonderful, doing good, getting around in a video or two here and there. But uh, so fan mail can be sent there, letters to him for his birthday. If you want to do that too, that'd be nice. Um, and yeah, so anyway, short little video. 
Let it walk around the shred pile. I'm gonna jump off here. Guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And is my idea stupid about the having like a, a vintage room in a house or something? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But uh, I like the old stuff, the underappreciated stuff. So I'm gonna take these things, wipe the dirt off of them, throw them in my vintage Cavalier hatchback. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go get working on the house today. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.